Hey guys, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. As I'm sure a lot of you know, I am not a fan of quickscopes or using snipers at close range. So I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how I counter that, and hopefully it'll make it a bit less frustrating for you. If you don't know what quickscopes are, let's start by saying that the sniper has the highest damage of all the weapons at taking 70% of your health bar. However, it is extremely inaccurate in firing from the hip, so you have to aim down the scope to actually land a shot. Players take advantage of this at close range by quickly aiming down their scope to take their shot and get that extra accuracy, which is how it got the name Quickscope. While a lot of people do use the sniper at long range, Sea of Thieves does have a lot of hit registration issues, which is when you see a hit land on your screen, but the server doesn't actually register it as a hit. What this means is that the sniper is actually most reliable as a close range weapon. Now, I know I've said this before, but the reason I personally don't use quick scopes is that I just find it kind of silly that the sniper's best use case is at close range, which makes it more of a hand cannon than an actual sniper rifle. I know a lot of people say that quick scopes are in tons of games, and that's true, but this isn't Counter Strike. This is a pirate sandbox, and I really think it should be more in line with its use case at long range. The fact is, I'm not hating on anyone that uses quick scopes. I actually like fighting against them. I think it's fun and challenging. But for me, I just find it more enjoyable to stick to sword and pistol. Now, the most important thing when fighting against sniper users is that you have to stay moving and you want to stay on the ground. You should definitely utilize your sprinting and sword hops, but don't jump. Jumping puts you in a pretty predictable arc that is easy to target, so you definitely want to keep that in mind. Now, to sword hop, you just need to hold your block and then press jump in any direction, and you'll do a short hop. So moving on to the actual counter to quick scopes and the point of this whole video is that you need to learn how to predict when someone is going to try and quick scope you so you can sword dodge out of the way. This involves listening, watching, and a little bit of intuition. First, you want to try and listen for the noise the sniper makes when zooming in and try and memorize it, as this is the noise that happens right before they take the shot. And if you can react quickly enough, you'll be able to successfully dodge a quick scope. So next up, you want to watch for when they're reloading their sniper rifle, because the chances are they're going to immediately try and quickscope you once they're done. If you can time it just right and get your sword hop in immediately after the reload, you should get a successful dodge. Another really good indicator is if they switch to their sniper from another weapon, chances are they're about to quickscope you, so you want to time your dodge accordingly. Now, utilizing all these little tells will give you your best chance to actually dodge a quick scope, but let me show you some examples from actual fights I've had and break them down bit by bit to show you my thought process. So first off, the reason I backed off to eat is because I saw him swap to a sniper and I realized I didn't have enough health to survive a sniper shot. So if you're fighting someone that's using quick scopes, you want to make sure you always have enough health to at least survive one shot. Okay, so the reason I'm jumping over the railing is I don't want to get caught going down the stairs on the sloop. The area around the stairs, the mast, and the cannon is kind of a hallway where for the most part I can only move forward or backwards. And this is where someone with a sniper really wants to have you so they can line up a shot. And as you can see, he's trying to line up a shot right now. So you'll notice as soon as I land, I sword hop out of the way. So you're probably wondering why I went into that hallway that I just told you to avoid. And the answer is that sometimes you can actually bait out a shot by putting yourself in the position that they want you to be in. If you run directly towards someone trying to quick scope you, they're going to take a shot. So this is a very risky move. But if you notice, I only run forward for half a second before dodging out of the way. See? <laughs> Oh, fuck. No. So in this next example, this is clearly a newer player trying to quickscope me, and all I did was just use the basic principles I told you in this video. In the first shot, you'll notice he swaps weapons right before trying to quickscope me, which is what gave him away. See? <laughs> 
So in the second shot, you can actually hear the noise from the scope that I mentioned earlier, and you can see him aiming down his sight, which gave me enough warning to jump out of the way. No. Oh no, those shitty shots. I'm gonna get this motherfucker. <laughs> you gotta try harder, dude. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fail. Womp womp. This guy is so good! Nice try. He's so good! He's so good! <laughs> so in this last example, I already knew this guy was carrying a sniper rifle, and I can see it when coming up the stairs. But like in the first example, he has me in a hallway. I can only go forward or backwards. So I know he's about to take a shot, which is why I dodged out of the way. Failed. Womp womp. <laughs> Okay, so that's all I have for today. I stream every weekday afternoon and most weekends at twitch.tv slash blurbs. If you have any other questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. Or if you just want to come say hey, please stop by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.